the women are tired. Okay. Let's just start there. A lot of the women are waking up and they're realizing that a lot of the rhetoric, a lot of the advice that they were receiving from other women, right? You know, the ones that are part of the whole sprinkle, sprinkle movement. Yeah. Um, they're realizing that a lot of those women have set them up for failure. They're never going to have the man that they're looking for following up behind that. You know, a lot of the women are also realizing that the climate is different. We've created an environment to where men, quite honestly, don't feel comfortable enough to pursue women, to approach women, to want to, you know, get into relationships or take us seriously even. You know, they run the risk of being called, you know, a harasser. Um, they run the risk of uh, having a woman to publicly shame them and embarrass them. And, you know, just all sorts of things that really deters a lot of men from wanting to go after women today. You know, what used to be something that was normal, something that men had no problem with doing, like approaching a woman or talking to a woman in today's world, it could cost you a lot, a lot. It can ruin your life, quite honestly, if you approach the wrong woman. Men today cannot even comfortably give a woman a compliment without him having to overthink or second guess it. Like, hold on, will she take this the wrong way? You know, is it going to come off like I'm a creep? You know what? I, I just won't do it at all. Right. And so women are, are waking up to that reality. And a lot of them are kind of fed up. A lot of them are realizing that they will never find the relationship, the husband, the man of their dreams by carrying on down the same road and path that they have been accustomed to walking down for so long. You know, the sprinkle, sprinkle disciples really don't know what they're talking about like that. You know, a lot of those women, they're essentially high end prostitutes. Can we say that? You know, we got to watch out for YouTube. A lot of the sprinkle, sprinkle disciples, let's just be clear, you all, and be honest. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe with some real talk. A lot of them, they're not in relationships that are healthy and stable and balanced. They don't have, you know, these quote unquote high earning or high value husbands. A lot of them are pass arounds to the highest bidder. And a lot of women are realizing that's not the life that I want to live. I want to have a man that loves me, honors me, cherishes me, takes good care of me. You know, I want to be able to pour into that man. I want to have a family. I want something that is substantial. I want something that is beautiful, you know, and I'm not going to achieve that by listening to y'all chicks, by following up behind y'all. A lot of y'all are high end prostitutes, and it's just no way to paint the picture better than that, you know? And so a lot of these, a lot of these women are now like, look, if I want a man in today's time, in today's climate, I'm going to have to ditch everything that I've ever been taught, everything that I've ever learned as far as, hey, you never shoot your shot at a man. Hey, you never let a man know that you're interested. Hey, you make that man chase you by playing hard to get and hey they've been taught that and they're like look going down this road and path is getting me nowhere i don't want to be like y'all you know and even the, the 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 sprinkle sprinkle disciples that have husbands and all of that a lot of them are dealing with men that don't really value them, don't really love them. They don't even love their own husbands. They're just there for the check. And who wants that? As women, we want to feel like we're a part of a dynamic to where there's authentic, genuine love. We don't want to feel like a piece of property or we don't want to be with a man that we don't have a real genuine connection to or with. 
You know, let's just be honest, you all. I know when we're younger, that sounds cute and that sounds feasible. But as you get older and you mature as a woman, you realize just how valuable it is to have a man that you can really relate to, that you can really bond with, that you really love, that you really cherish, that you have great chemistry with. Like you need that as a woman. Money comes and goes, but that divine union and that divi divine connection that you can experience with the man of your, your dreams, that cannot be bought. That cannot be replaced. And so we're realizing that we need that and that money is not the end all be all. You know, money does not fix everything. And while it is important, I need a man that is my man, a man that is for me, a man that loves me a man that is about me, I need to also be able to have those same feelings reciprocated to where I'm all about him and I love him and I value him like we need that. Some things, you guys, as women, we cannot escape. It is in our nature. It's embedded within us. And the more that we realize we don't have that, the more of that void that we feel, the more of that void that we have. And a lot of us, you know, we can't take it. It becomes unbearable. Which is why now a lot of those women are like, look, I'm going to go after what I want. I'm going to go and get the man that I want to be with. I'm going to let him know that, hey, I want you. I like you. You know, and what I really love is the fact that these women you know, not only are they taking the initiative, but they're not being silly with it. You know what I mean? They're not just going after men that they know they don't have a chance with, or they're not just going above and beyond a do something for a man that shows no uh, interest back in them. No, but they are going out of their ways to let it be known. Like, look, this is what I'm looking for. And you seem to be it. So let's see where this goes. Y'all should have been doing that, honestly. And see, when I was telling y'all to do that back in the day, I was all kind of pick me. You know, I was setting women up for struggle and I was setting women back. And, you know, I was creating beta males because only a beta would be okay with a woman approaching. And it's just complete and utter trash. All right. As grown adults, there is nothing wrong with a man or a woman pursuing, okay? As long as it's not a one-sided, one-dimensional, lopsided type of dynamic, it's nothing wrong with it, okay? As long as somebody is showing you interest back, what's the matter? And like I'm saying, a lot of women, they have found their husbands by shooting their shot first. Fellas, y'all let me know in the comments. Do you have a problem with a woman shooting her shot at you? Let me know. I would like to know that, you know. Um, but honestly, I don't think a lot of men would, especially in today's climate to where it's like, I don't know if I can approach her. Maybe it is best to give the choosing signals and see if she approaches you. I don't know. You know, and maybe that's the new world that a lot of us women, to be honest, created. We created this new world to where you're probably going to have to shoot your shot, you know, but I digress. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Like this is something new out here and I want to get y'all's feedback on it, but women are tired. Okay. Long story short, a lot of women are fed up and tired with waiting around and not getting anywhere. You know, I'm not getting the relationship, the man, I'm not getting nothing whatsoever. And so if I have to go out of my way to say what's up or to say hello or to compliment a man, I'm going to do that and see where it goes. And honestly, nothing wrong with it in my book. Okay. But again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's get into this, you all. Because this is very interesting. A lot of women are standing up to these sprinkle, sprinkle disciples. And they're like, enough is enough. I'm going to go after what I want. I am done listening to y'all when y'all don't even have the desired results. A lot of dating coaches will sit here and fool you to believe that if you approach a man as a woman, that you are masculine. 
Of course, you will be deemed as masculine if you are trying to approach a man in the same way that he's approaching you. There's multiple ways, but the real main two ways that I've learned from my old teacher, Tariq Nashi, back in his Mac lessons days, there, there's a hard choose and a soft choose. Ladies, if you ever caught yourself looking at a man in a flirtatious way and he comes to you, that's a soft choose. That's deemed as a soft choose. If you uh, order a man a drink or you just come up to him and, you know, make small talk, that's considered a hard choose because it's a little bit more forward. And trust me, ladies. You're still going to be in your femininity. Men who get women on the regular, especially attractive women in large cities like Houston, that's going to turn them on even more. Like, OK, she's not like some of these women who feel like I got to sit here and tra chase her like Tom and Jerry and play all these games throughout the night. She's cooperating. She's showing me that she's going for what she wants. That doesn't mean that just because you approach him that you're not going to um, run it to guys that are playing games, but for the right guy, you are going to be like, okay, I see her. But of course, you're going to have people in the comments that look like Master Splinter talking about, oh, you will pick me if you do it and don't do it because it makes me a beta male. As a woman, you can make... Now, hold on, y'all. And we're going to get into the next chick as well. Y'all like the video. Now, this woman right here, she seems to be somebody that is, like I'm saying, fed up and done with the whole narrative of a woman shouldn't do this, a woman shouldn't do that, because if you do, you're a pick me and you're, you know, desperate and all of that. But did y'all hear what she said? She said that she was listening to, was it Tariq? Did she say Tariq was her, like, master teacher? Let's take that back. You know, nonetheless, I do find it to be um, interesting that you also have women listening to the men. Right? See, it used to be a thing to where it was like, oh no, I'm strictly listening to the sprinkle sprinkle movement. If you're not a part of the sisterhood, then I'm not going to listen to you. If you're a man, you don't know what you're talking about. But did y'all hear her? Let's take it back, you all. Let's start from the top. And again, like the video. A lot of dating coaches will sit here and fool you to believe that if you approach a man as a woman, that you are masculine. Of course, you will be deemed as masculine if you are trying to approach a man in the same way that he's approaching you. Now, I, I do agree with that, right? That's a valid point. A lot of women don't understand that we can shoot our shot at men in a more feminine way. It doesn't have to be like, yo, 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 baby, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see, you know, where this could go. And fellas, I would highly suggest that you never shoot your shot at a woman like that anyway. Um, but nonetheless, like, I really hate how they try to really uh, play it up to be this thing to where a woman is masculine if she is indeed pursuing a man. No, you can do it in a very subtle way. Pursuing a man could be something as subtle as saying hello first or, you know, give him a little bit of a wink or, you know, just asking him how his day is. Like, it does not have to be this over the top, very dominant, very assertive type of energy. It can be passive, yet it's still uh, giving him the inclination to, you know, choose up. So I like that point. Let's continue. And again, y'all like the video. And fellas, still, in the comments, let me know if this is okay. If Is it okay if a woman approaches you? I would love to know that. Or does that make you not masculine if a woman is, you know, approaching you? Let me know. There's multiple ways, but the real main two ways that I've learned from my old teacher, Tariq Nashi, back in his Mac lessons days, there, there's a hard choose and a soft choose. Ladies, if you ever caught yourself looking at a man in a flirtatious way and he comes to you, that's a soft choose. That's Okay, so again, y'all, y'all are, are y'all peeping how she's saying that she's listening to the men? Last time I checked, Tariq she, you know, he was a man. And the women are now listening to the men on how to get a man. Like, what better way to learn about men than through men? You know what I mean? Let the men tell you what they like, what they don't like. Let the men give you the game. You know what I'm saying? So I love this new 
this new wave that we're entering into to where it's like, look, we can learn from anybody and everybody, but I'm definitely not going to start trying to do what delusional females or males for that matter are telling me to do. No, I'm going to listen to the, the, the people that are directing me down the right path, you know? And so I thought that was very um, interesting that she said that she's actually taking the Mac lessons from the men as far as, you know, what to do to navigate the dating market and how to essentially get the men that you want to get. But let's continue. And y'all like the video. It's deemed as a soft shoes. If you uh, order a man a drink or you just come up to him and, you know, make small talk, that's considered a hard shoes because it's a little bit more forward. And trust me, ladies, you're still going to be in your femininity. Men who get women on the regular, especially attractive women in large cities like Houston, that's going to turn them on even more. Like, okay, she's not like some of these women who feel like I got to sit here and ch chase her like Tom and Jerry and play all these games throughout the night. She's cooperating. She's showing me that she's going for what she wants. That doesn't mean that just because you approach him that you're not going to um, run into guys that are playing games. But for the right guy, you are going to be like, okay, I see her. But of course, you're going to have people in the comments that look like Master Splinter talking about, oh, you will pick me if you do it and don't do it because it makes me a beta male. As a woman, you can make the first move. If you see a man you like, you should approach him. If I see somebody attractive, I'll make some eye contact, but not too much yet. Just a couple glances. And if that's reciprocated, then I'll hold eye contact. And if I'm feeling spicy, I'll do a wink. Or I'll smile. You kind of have to smile. You got to be inviting. And if that is received well, you approach. If you're afraid of rejection, suck it up. You're a big girl. I'll approach and I'll compliment them, even if they're with other men. But I'll have an escape route just in case he's, he's weird. I'll say something like, you look good. A little too good. And rush to the bathroom or get a drink or go do something. But when you're on the move, make sure it seems like you're coming back. Sometimes you're just not their cup of tea. Sometimes they're taken. So a compliment is harmless. If they stay in the same place, you're in there. If it looks like they're waiting for you, you're in there. If they stop you in your tracks, you're in there. And then ask for their name. It's so simple. After that, they do the work, okay? Because you done showed that you're interested. You done enough. How do y'all feel about this? This is so interesting. I am not going to lie. You now have women teaching women how to approach men. This is mind-blowing to me. But I am not mad at it. I'm telling y'all, I am not mad at it. You know, uh, Let's take that one back. And y'all like the video. And let's break this down. Okay. Hold on. The women are fed up. They're like, look, we're going to go after what we want. Comments that look like Master Splinter talking about, oh, you will pick me if you do it and don't do it because it makes me a beta male. As a woman, you can make the first move. If you see a man you like, you should approach him. If I see somebody attractive, I'll make some eye contact. But not too much yet. Just a couple glances. And if that's reciprocated, then I'll hold eye contact. And if I'm feeling spicy, I'll do a wink or I'll smile. You kind of have to smile. You got to be inviting. And if that is received well, you approach. If you're afraid of rejection, suck it up. You're a big girl. Now that right there, we got to highlight, right? Now she is essentially telling women how to pursue a man in a more seductive feminine type of way. And, I, and I'm here for it. You know, uh, she gave some little tips and tricks and pointers, but I love how she also went into the whole rejection piece because a lot of women, because we're not really accustomed to, um, being rejected like that or having to go out of our ways to make the first move that could be something that is a little bit intimidating for us you know but she's saying look girl if you see a man that you want do not waste your time go and get that man do not be in your head too much because after all you could be missing out on your prince charming but you'll never know if you're stuck in your way and and and, and you're just so stubborn and you're overthinking everything like no go and see you never know where it could land and like i'm saying you all in today's time 
the man could actually want to talk to you, but due to the circumstances that a lot of women have created, they're like, look, I better not. So why not give him a little bit of a, a wink? Why not smile? And I also love how she said you have to be inviting. That is something that the sprinkle, sprinkle disciples kind of taught y'all, you know, not to do. Don't be inviting. Play hard to get. You know, let that man chase you. Make him chase you. She said, no, smile. You know, be warm. Be open. Let that man know that it's okay for him to approach if, you know, you're into that as well. But nonetheless, I love how these women are pretty much saying that it's okay for the woman to go ahead and make the first advances. I think that is okay. I, I really do. And I've been felt that way. I've always felt that way. But again, I've always got chewed out for it and called a pick me like the other girl said, or, you know, uh, I got told that, you know, only a beta male would want a, a woman to approach. And I, I don't I don't believe that. I don't agree with that at all. You know, um, I do feel like everybody has different personalities. You know, some men are going to be more chill and relaxed. And so the woman would have to approach him. You know what I'm saying? Or you have women that are more outgoing. You know, you have women that are more forward. And so maybe she would be the one that is more likely to approach. And that's not to say that she's going to do it in a masculine way. But nonetheless, she may be, you know, the, the bubbly type that does say, hey, how are you? You know, how's your day? Oh, you know, you look nice tonight. Like women do that. You know, so I, I, I really never uh, subscribe to the whole cookie cutter, one size fits all narrative of a woman should absolutely under no circumstances approach a man or give him a compliment or let him know that she's interested. I never went with that um, because like I'm saying, you know, a lot of women have met their husbands by shooting their shots first, by sparking that first initial uh, initial conversation. You never know where that could go. You know, so I have no problem with it. And me personally, I know a lot of guys um, that due to their personalities, they're not going to be the guy that does, you know, approach a woman all the time. Sometimes, you know, the woman approaches him. A lot of the times, I should say, the woman approaches him, you know, but um, no problem with that, you know. And fellas, that's not to say that it's okay for you to just kind of be in your shell and, you know, for you to be out here overthinking and all. Like, no, you still have to um, exude a level of confidence as a man. I will say that we don't want a man that is timid or a man that is just coming off as, you know, overly shy or like you're not, uh, again, confident in yourself. Like we want a man with confidence, but nonetheless, I've seen a lot of guys to where the woman does you know, oftentimes approach him. And that's just the way that it is. So it's just really a, ma a matter of your personality type. It's a matter of uh, the circumstances, uh, the environment, all of that matters. Um, but nonetheless, I am pleased to see that a lot of women are, you know, kind of shedding and getting rid of that whole, I'm too good, to approach a man or I'm too good to let a man know that I like him type of air. You know, I don't like that. I feel like a lot of y'all block your blessings in that way. And you've realized that now. You've realized that you have been the one that was shooting yourself in the foot and now y'all are taking the initiative. Salute to y'all, okay? But y'all like the video. And again, fellas, I would love to know, first things first, is it okay for a woman to, for a woman to approach you? And second off, are you the type of guy to where women are the ones that usually do approach you first? Y'all let me know. I would love to know that. Or are you the guy that does all the approaching? Let me know all of that. But I'm very interested to know how many men are usually the ones that are being approached by the women. I'll approach and I'll compliment them, even if they're with other men. But I'll have an escape route just in case he's, he's weird. I'll say something like, you look good. A little too good. And rush to the bathroom or get a drink or go do something. But when you're on the move, make sure it seems like you're coming back. Sometimes you're just not their cup of tea. Sometimes they're taken. So a compliment is harmless. If they stay in the same place, you're in there. If it looks like they're waiting for you, you're in there. If they stop you in your tracks, you're in there. And then ask for their name. It's so simple. 
after that, they do the work, okay? Because you done showed that you're interested. You done enough. And I agree with that. You know, once you let somebody know that you're interested in all of that, like, let them meet you halfway. I do agree with that. I, I'm never the type that feels like it's okay whether that be a man or a woman to do all of the uh, pursuing. If somebody is, is not meeting you with the same energy abort mission, they're probably not interested. They're probably taken, like she said, you know, and, you know, just fall back. Um, but I still do like how she is making it something that is normalized to, you know, approach a man and to also be okay with rejection. And I feel like that is going to be a tough pill for a lot of women to swallow with a lot of y'all maybe waking up and, you know, getting in the, the mindset of approaching men. Because a lot of the times, maybe you're just not it. Maybe he doesn't find you to be attractive. Maybe you're not his type. And that's okay, ladies. It is okay. Um, don't let that deter you. Because after all, the men have been doing this for centuries. And look at them, you know. So... <laughs> It's your turn now. It is it, it is our turn now, ladies, to take the initiative to get in that hot seat and go after what we want. And again, salute to it. I, I'm not mad at it. I do hate how a lot of y'all chewed me up back in the day for telling y'all to do these same things that y'all trying to do now. But nonetheless, you know, we're going to let y'all have it and we wish y'all the best of luck with it. Okay. But Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Fellas, again, are you okay with this? Are you against this? Do you feel like this makes you a beta male? Does it make you soft? Does it make a, a woman too aggressive? Is it too masculine? Let me know, okay? Can a woman buy you a drink? Can she flirt with you? Let me know, y'all, okay? This is all very new to me. I didn't know that women were now doing this and getting rid of the whole sprinkle, sprinkle, I am the prize type of energy. I didn't know this was a new wave. But nonetheless, hey, kudos to y'all, all right? But y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing what you have to say in the comments. And yeah, much love and peace to my crown heads.